Judges Philbin and Kelly Ripa. Oh, thank you. You know, there's an old show business saying you gotta get to the chair before they stop applauding. <laughs> we hardly barely, got out the door barely, before they stopped we applauding. We make it every day. Oh boy. So here it is, another weekend coming up, Friday, July 15th, 2005. I guess you'll be mingling with the swells out at the Hamptons. I'm hoping for good weather. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what the weather report is for a change. You know? What is that? Anybody know what the weather is? Part, uh, partly cloudy. No, uh, Chance of showers. Of <laughs> let, me, let, let me guess. Scattered showers. Yeah. Scattered showers. Partly cloudy. Chance of thunderstorms <laughs> yeah. in the late afternoon. But, but never really. Humid, humid, humid. Yeah. Uh, but they never really, really go for a solid, concrete uh, definition of the weather that day, you know? Well, I'm just going to have to put on more self tanner. <laughs> That's all. That's what life with you is all it about. Doesn't affect me if the sun doesn't shine. <laughs> <laughs> Remember this this baby we had on the show. As a matter of fact, we introduced this guy. Furby. Oh, you're the ones? <laughs> Furby. Yes. This was before you came, I think. This was, uh, I don't know, six, seven years ago when Furby first came out. Right, Gilman? 98. Yeah. And what was the big deal with him again? Well, He's interactive. Let He's interactive. So what do, what do we do? Well, first you turn him on. <laughs> Let me explain to you that um, I told you never to give him these electronic Yeah, that wasn't things. really the one that was supposed to work. That's let, the... me just let me tell you a story about this. My son, for his second birthday, got a Furby. Not something I would ever buy, but he got it as a gift. Mm -hmm. So, um, apparently, there's all these, you know, there's a manual. When you have a baby, they give you a leaflet like this. Here's your infant, don't forget to bathe it, wash, you know, wash around the, the, the umbilical cord area, and uh, feed it if it cries, right? When you get a Furby, you get a manual <laughs> this small. So we make it simple. How to care for your, uh, your animatronic pet. Anyway, so we had this Furby, which we ignored because he's two and I didn't want to play with it. Anyway, it develops a cold. The so Furby does? Our Furby gets a cold because we didn't uh, take care of it. <laughs> and it would go. <laughs> <laughs> time to, time to get your money back. <laughs> well, they say that if you want it to stop interacting with yeah. you, you put it in a dark place. Well, ours had an extreme malfunction, and so we would put it in the closet, and it would go. <laughs> You would hear it at night. Drive you so crazy after This a while. went on for months and months and months, and then it would say things like, Hungry, help me! <laughs> and it was, so I guess it was. This baby was a real living thing. It was starving and it was dying from sickness. <laughs> <laughs> so one night, Mark got so frustrated, he took the fur because Michael became afraid of it. He didn't like it anymore. <laughs> Mark took the Furby, and uh, this is back when we lived in New Jersey, he took the Furby and he threw it into the woods. We had woods behind our house. Threw it into the woods. I'm not kidding. We'd be in bed together. Oh, no, come night. on. No, listen to me. Help me. Like this. <laughs> Sleeping. And Mark would go, you hear it? <laughs> I'm like, hear what? I don't hear it. He's like, come into the bathroom. Come into the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> you can hear it out the window. <laughs> don't, don't tell me it was in the bathroom. No, it was outside in the woods coughing. <laughs> Did you feel guilty at all? Did I feel guilty? Yeah. No, I don't humanize toys. <laughs> I felt like it was sent here to ruin our lives. Yeah, well, well, anyway, that's the old Furby. Now, here is the new Furby. They've, they've oh, made him a lot look bigger. At that. And yeah, improved. It's bigger. Yeah. Now, I'm going to turn this guy Won't on. Won't be able to throw that one as far. <laughs> okay, now. Give me your instruction card. Yes, I got the card right here. They, they give you, in lieu of the book, they give you a, a card. Well, no, we gave you the card. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I'm going to say, hey, Furby. Wait for his response. Hey, Furby. Ew. Turn him to Dude. us. <laughs> <laughs> Who's there? Who's there? <laughs> Who's there? <laughs> Who's there? All right, you're beginning to frighten Furby now. <laughs> Now, wait a minute. Okay, Furby doesn't want to tell a joke, but they, there's a whole combination of things well, this go. new Furby does. Here we go. Uh, hey, Furby. 
Hey, Furby. <laughs> I'm not going to wait for his response, Gil, but I'll tell you how I can make this thing work. I'll bring it home and put it in my house. <laughs> Sing me a song. Sing us a song, Furby. Gilman. <laughs> Reed, you don't have the knack with these What do you things? mean I don't have the knack? I turned the thing on. <laughs> hey, Furby. Ooh, Furby, baby. What? <laughs> Sing us a song, Furby. Sing us a song, Furby. Sing a song to us, Furby. Sing us a song, or I swear to God, I'll throw you into the woods. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Furby, we want a song, not your ears. <laughs> Furby, how do you like that? <laughs> <laughs> Furby language? Maybe I hit Furby too hard. <laughs> okay, thank you. That's in Furby. Now, wait a minute. One more. We're going to try this. And maybe hitting on the head helps a little bit. Hey, Furby, do a dance. <laughs> okay, here I go. Do a dance. Do a dance or I'll make you wish you were never born. <laughs> well, we got a song out of Furby anyway. Could be the audience. Uh, yeah, the sure. Audience. Okay, Close Furby, thank you very much. Anyway, brand new toy out on the market now. <laughs> and if, if that doesn't kill Furby's chances for success, I don't know what will. <laughs> It's like, it's brought it all back to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sick, help me. You hear it? It's still talking. <laughs> you know, this could be like the omen. Furby is now speaking in some weird hidden language. <laughs> Maybe Furby is the omen. Stand back! <laughs> He likes a woman's touch. All right, so here we go. Here's the, here's the latest. Remember the weed hound I showed you, you know? That yeah. you put into the ground and you pluck out the weed? This is called Scoop the Poop. <laughs> and it comes in such oh, handy. I don't like to see. I mean, I'm glad they're doing it, but still, it's kind it's of It's always very gnarly people when people have their down, hand in the plastic it up bag. With the plastic <laughs> bag. I don't want to see that. Yes, but would you rather them leave it there? Hello. No, I understand what, what the alternative is. Here, so here's the new one. See, go like this. You press this. Oh. Oh, look. Poop. <laughs> oh, is that poop? Poop. <laughs> just a special Don't worry, effect. Gilbert. I'll take care of it. Can you see this, guys? Yeah. Yes, we can. Bring the camera around so you That's can fine. see it. There you go. There you go. There it is. There it is. There it now is. Now watch this. Wow. Wow. <laughs> That's another piece. Woo! Right there, baby. Baby Ruth, or? Oh, yes. Yeah, it's a Baby Ruth. God, oh, they're, they're so good. <laughs> you know, um, you're, you're always talking about this weight you're gaining, you know, a half a pound a week or something. Mm -hmm. Half a pound a week ever since, maybe, the, uh, ever since the challenge. Right. Well, maybe it's because your wallet is getting a little thicker, you know, with the no. cards and money. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no. Anyway, uh, American uh, Express suggests that our wallets are too fat. 
You may have a host of credit cards in there, ATM cards, old business cards, club memberships, and who knows what else, making your wallet look more like a bowling ball. I don't know why I'm getting wet. There's one member on our, <laughs> on our staff who has a wallet that you've never seen in it, but maybe you've got one of those big wallets at home. But this is the wallet of uh, Laurie Schulweis, and take a look at this little hand grenade right here. Are you I'm... kidding me? <laughs> look at all these credit cards. Why do you have so many credit cards? There's no money, but there's a lot of cards. <laughs> She's got francs. Are those francs? Yeah. They're not even case. good anymore. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm beginning to hear your voice. <laughs> Are those francs? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, it's all. Wow. <laughs> The one, so the one the Furby wouldn't talk. <laughs> I told you. You I, scared Furby. I have the most annoying voice in the history of voices. <laughs> anyway, Shirley, we gotta pare that down, baby. That's that's way, way too big. Is this a gift certificate I gave you? Oh my god. Is it really? Mm -hmm. Which for where? For a manicure pedicure. What else you got? <laughs> You know what? This is almost a year old. You gave her this last August. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's going to expire. You didn't like this credit card she gave you, huh? I don't think that's I think I could use the pedicure. A mess. <laughs> okay, shall we start the okay. show? What do you think? You got something here? What do do? Ah, good. And well, there you go. That'll be for the tip. On the show today, Vince Vaughn from Wedding Crossing. Bye. Close is here from Without a Trace. Real Friday, you know, secrets revealed with uh, Michael Chiarello. He's from uh, the uh, old Napa Valley out there in uh, California. And what else? Anything else going on? Yeah, earlier this week we ran out of time for Rick Springfield, <laughs> so he's going to perform Jesse's Girl. Oh. We got Tom Schaefer on the line from Rhinelander, Wisconsin. How you doing, Tom? Fine, Richard. How are you? Say hello to Kelly. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Tom. All right, Tommy. Let's see. Tom's married 37 years, got four <gasps> kids. Wow. Has a four-year-old grandchild and hmm. enjoys the water skiing and boating. Really? Water skiing and boating up in Wisconsin, huh? Yeah. That must be all of two months. Just about. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little cold up Long there. Long summers. Tom, what's the secret to a good marriage? Uh, retiring. Really? Oh, retiring, yeah. Yes. You, you don't get on her nerves? Uh, not yet. Yeah. My mom sent my dad right back to work. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Some women can't take it. <laughs> Let's spin the wheel, Tom. See what you do here. Golfing for Tom, maybe, uh, huh? The DV Village Golf and Beach Resort in Aruba. Seven days, six nights. All-inclusive round-trip airfare courtesy of Delta Airlines. It's a prize valued at $4,800. You have 20 seconds and only one guest, Tom. Good luck. Here we go, Tom. Earlier this week, we talked with actress Rachel McAdams. We mentioned that she made her American film debut in the 2002 movie The Hot Chick. The Hot Chick. What actor did we say co-starred with Rachel in The Hot Chick? Talked the about movie it. that Rachel Hunter, the actor with Rachel Hunter. Rachel, Rachel, Rachel McAdams. McAdams. Rachel McAdams. Made a movie called The Hot Chick, co-starring with... We talked about him just briefly on the show that day. Five seconds, take a guess. It's a tough one, isn't it? It's very tough. Owen Wilson? No, no, it was Rob Schneider. Oh. Yeah. Sorry, Sorry Tom. Tom. If it makes you feel any better, Regis and I were here and we didn't remember that on. <laughs> but now you and a lucky member of our studio audience will each receive a $500 gift certificate to Linens and Things. So please pick a number between 1 and 146. Uh, 72. 72? There she is over there. Tom, take care. Vince Vaughn coming up next, and we'll be right back.
Skillet Head on Live, another Grill Friday secret is revealed by Chef Michael Chiarello. Rick Springfield is back to sing his big hit, Jesse's Girl. From Without a Trace, actor Eric Close. And coming up next, Vince Vaughn.